Hey, supporting us. We can't wait to come Woo. back to offline. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We've got uh, this matchup. Very going to be quite different from the last one we saw. You mentioned how Zelda kind of can struggle against Bowser because she is slow. So she's not able to necessarily like overwhelm or chase him down. <laughs> Pikachu. I don't think Pikachu has that particular problem. Oh, not even a little bit. I mean, his air acceleration is a little slow, but you have quick attack to compensate. So it's fine. <laughs> And you've got frame data, and that's kind of where Bowser starts to crumble like a paper tower, like a house of cards, like anything under anything else that crumbles. Because one back like is... paper cards. <laughs> cards are made of paper. Oh, we spend a lot of money on cardboard, don't we? <laughs> oh, but here's the thing: where play here's at least the type of game where play style will matter more so than matchup. Because theoretically, Pikachu can back air. Uh, Bowser at zero, kill him for it, then run away with Key Jolts until he finds another back air. However, Jopone seems like he's much more of a landing nair type of Pika, which means he's holding in and approaching with stuff a lot more frequently, which gives Bowser much more room for error than against a more defensive Pikachu like, per se, Mouse Rat. Oh, that is so big. It's not actually going to be a kill, but that's um, just a whole heap of damage. And it's, it's going to clean it up with that back air immediately following. Now, one thing is that against uh, Air Swimmer, Bowser was going for a lot of falling neutral airs. And right as I say that there, we start to see them again. But for the most part, I haven't seen them that often. And I think the big reason why is because as we just saw, Pikachu can intercept them. We just saw uh, go for an up air and it just beat it out straight. And great job cleaning up that stock there. But Jopone's still down by quite a bit. And this is going to be really rough for him forward. You know, we haven't seen a back air land from Jopone, I think, in this entire game. when like, you almost neutral get up into your demise. So, I hope it he was did. worth it. <laughs> but he didn't. But he didn't. <laughs> Listen, here's the thing. As long as you don't get hit, it was optimal. That's just science. Ah, oh, I love that recovery, actually. That was so... So, so smart of him, but being smart, let's see how much it'll actually matter. Being surviving the thunder at that percent, and yeah, he there it is. Just second. Mm. It's when you give Bowser more and more chances to just interact with you let alone like win those interactions you're already feeding into his game plan did invincibility just run out it might have just run out he was at like one uh he's only at like 95. oh i think he maybe dropped back oh but do you have, have you lose invincibility when you drop back right what yeah the moment you disconnect from the ledge you lose invincibility yeah. but i'm not sure what's going on here Ready? first frame uh, of because it like it lasts the the sweet spot lasts for a few frames so yeah, maybe he, like, like punched two, or, two to four frames so maybe he punched and then he dropped off that doesn't feel like invincibility should have run out right there he was off stage for like a decent amount of time even if it was at a higher percent well regardless it was a calculated interception on Sansko's part why am i so can't read today Sansko. Sansko. It's, like, it's like Sans, but Ko. There we go. Now I'll never forget it. Da, 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 da. Because that mnemonic device was just that <laughs> terrible. You ever done that? You ever like tried to memorize something by just coming up with the stupidest mnemonic device and you're like, that's so dumb. I wish I could forget it now. Uh, I guess flashcards are outdated. I don't know. That's always what I would use. <laughs> oh. Sorry, college student showing. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, San Sansko is kind of playing the same game plan that he has been, which is looking for single hits to box with his opponents, using 
Bowser's in heaviest way in the game to survive and winning regardless of if he gets hit or not. Every interaction favors his game state as long as he doesn't die here. Good weight. Really good weight. Oh, he's just a tough guy through that those speaker jabs. Dead! Gone. Absolutely eviscerated. Man, there, oh, there's God. so many setups. There's so many little setups that Joe Clone has been going for to try and like progress his edge guarding into the realm of where Bowser can't recover regardless of what he's doing. And Sansko is looking like he's seen them all. That recovery was so, so good, and it did not matter. Just once again, catching him, just knowing the timing of when he's going to let go of ledge, and just kicking him in the face. This time he jumped, right? Like, he goes uh, to quick attack here. Yeah. Thinking, thinking This was honestly a beautiful recovery here. This is amazing recovery. And... Oh, he dropped, he dropped. He dropped and jumped. Honestly, it looked like Joe Coin overthought it. Great angles, really solid angles. He, zipping back and forth in order to get to the ledge. No one would ever expect that. But Sansko, like, it was one track mind. Like, you're on ledge, I'm gonna try and pressure ledge. Because you're Pikachu and you can die. Now, is he dead? Good DI down, getting away, getting away from the back airs, and the get up back fights right through. What more do you need? Who, who wants to take bets on uh, on whose whose console is making this song come up? Is it Joe Cohn or, or Sansko? Joe Cohn, absolutely. Joe yeah? Cohn. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Got an anime name, right? I don't know. Now you're making me rethink my guess. I was so Good. confident. I had I had much confidence. Well, I mean, I could honestly. Uh, I'm I, I'm disappointed in both of them for playing to this song. <laughs> they should have immediately immediately been like, hold on a second, LRA start. The player. Everybody involved. Devin, you should have ended uh -huh. the stream when this song came on. Yeah. Sensing some animosity. It... Can't get this song is so weird. I cannot get in the mood to watch a little rat get smacked it, it, around by a giant it's not, turtle. It's not fitting, but it's whatever. Anyway, game <laughs> game three. <laughs> game game three gameplay F smash at center stage, and you know what? If you're living until 170, you're not getting edge guarded. You're killing Pikachu at the percent you should be, which is sub 100 if you can. It, Oh, uh, what? Everything what? works. Uh, buh -buh? Uh, buh -buh. <laughs> so did he, did, did he just did the get up attack push him outside of the range for some grab? It had to have, right? The shield pushback? Guess so. And then Jokun just went for grab again. Some get up attacks are surprisingly strong. Like, I think heroes with oomph and psych up will break shield. That's hilarious. <laughs> Speaking of hilarious. Joe Pone actually, for the first time in this entire set, it's looking like he actually has a sizable lead he can work with. Yeah, he needs to start smothering, though. This is not a matchup where you can play the runaway. This is at least not the stage where you can play the runaway game. Like, if you had a little bit more platforms, maybe, and start using quick attack. But you need to feel smother Sansko here. At the very least, I don't think you should be choosing to put yourself at the ledge. Because it seems that every single time he dies, it's at the ledge. Okay, he died there at the ledge, but technically. But yeah, that was just honestly a good pickup from uh, Sansko. No, but, I completely agree. Like he's yeah. he's getting really dominated at ledge. So by playing you know, play center until you get your window to punish, and then take that hit for as far as you can. T Jolts are doing a good job of just making sure he can cover space, even with uh, Sansko technically having the ability to fight through it with things like F-Smash, he's not going to do that at 129. Or 145, excuse me. Oh, 
quick attack through. Taking yeah. it at the ledge. Beautiful angle on that quick attack. Is that going to be enough? It is. He DIs to die off the top. Can he survive if he DI'd maybe a little bit more towards the side blast zone? Uh, he was heading in towards the corner, so he was probably holding too far up and not enough in. Like, look at the angle he sent at. Yeah. Regardless, that was very close to the top of the screen, and Pikachu forward air at 173. But. Really solid Eddie. pickup, though. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, no, I was I was just going to say the same thing. Yeah, well, it's it's really... I like seeing more than just, like, the best player of a character push the meta of a character and, like, or in, improvise and implement character stuff. Like, you, anyone can go up here and do, like, you know, T-Jolt into dash attack or whatever. But it's nice to see uh, Joe Pone start to implement more combo extensions and go quick attack to up air since up air leads to forward air. But quick attack itself doesn't lead to forward air, at least at that higher percent. So it's those levels of like, hey, I need to keep hitting Bowser. I need to keep him in hit stun, keep him in disadvantage for as long as I can and as often as I can. Back to town and city. Not a bad stage, again, on paper, but it looks like Sansko is just so comfortable in this environment that it might be hard to make him uncomfortable. Oop, one. Well, he, he went for it anyway, so it counts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he wanted that dash attack right there, but... Okay, I like the use of this flame breath. Just counteract the little T jolts, and also get tiny bits of chip damage for the from the edge of the breath attack. And mothering the quick attack when Joe Pone does try to actually get in. This is honestly, I will say, it seems that Sansko has changed up his game plan. Feels like he had kind of a little bit more of a hyper aggressive game plan of going for the maximum reward options that Bowser has available to him. But now he's actually kind of seems like he's respecting the options that Joe Pone is really opting to go for more. Yeah, he's been approaching a lot more with shield and trying to play out of it, though, you know, back out of hit stun, really catching Joe Pone within that uh, mid cross up. So why not? And these pairs. Oh, and fantastic right there. That down air being so huge for Joe Pone. We've seen how he can struggle to kill at those later percents. So just taking the stock off stage like that is he is good to go. And now we have two stocks apiece, a slight percentage advantage for uh Sansko, but I mean, we know that Pikachu with a single hit can do, can probably convert to about 50% himself. But also, Pikachu dies at 50, Bowser doesn't. What was he got? Is that like stuck 60? on the platform. Yep. He died at 67 uh, point something because his quick attack went, uh, his quick attack got stuck on the platform instead of heading behind it. But a gift, a second chance. <laughs> Uh, Joe Pone has to take this to a game five. Uh, Sansko with the uh, forced SD. Though, he's got to make this count and find a prominent starter. Get up attack has been great for getting him out of, pre uh, out of pressure and out of danger, but if you can't get anything going, then Sansko will just bully you one jab at a time. Joe Pone will sh Okay. I mean, sure. Mm. I, I don't even know how he didn't grab the ledge. Felt like he, it looked like he was right there. Uh, he might have been buffering something and got clipped by the flame breath. He was just. So let's see. Quick zip. Oh. Oh, town. Oh, okay. No, no. That's oh, just... he got stuck under town. Yeah, it's a, it's a quick attack thing that is only on I think town in Smashville, where sometimes you'll zip and it won't look most of the time when you zip you zip along the ledge or you can zip along the stage 
but on Town and Smashville, you can kind of get hit at just the perfect geometry where it's still flat, but doesn't look flat. Usually, okay, usually it happens on Battlefield, according to Joe Fun, but I think it's also on, uh, it's also on Town and City that that can happen, which is just unfortunate. I am real sorry, but 